know, I want you know to order my first for you to finish your hair for. You know, it's four days and you haven't received your ice cream. Babe, I'm telling you, I regret it now. Can you imagine the wedding is fast approaching? My shoe is not even here. Uh -uh. Babe, what's up? Why are you frowning? See, you know that annoying old man that can never date his age mates. <laughs> Do you mean your man? It's your own man. <laughs> what forbid? You can never date my grandfather. Uh -uh. Come on now, Mr. Ambatch is not that old. Please, don't even annoy me. Yeah. Hello, sir. Receptionist page speaking. Oh, that's not Sarah. Um, she says uh, she's here. She's right here, and she'll be with you shortly. Are you okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. What is wrong with you? Why did you tell him I'm here? Well, your baby needs you. Yeah, go answer your call. It's calling you now. It's not I'm serious. I hate you. And I love you. <laughs> no, we can't. Pedro, we can't. You're so wicked. Come on now. Ah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. You're not ready to leave. No, I don't want to go home today. Why? Well, I'm not working tonight, remember? I, I know. I just want to be here. Paige. You're still here, you're not going. Maybe I'll. Well, I'm um, trying to go. I have a date. Okay. Hey. Oh, Jeez, yeah. babe. <laughs> okay. All right, take care. Bye. Bye. Oh, and you? Aren't you going? Well, I don't feel like going tonight. I want to stay here tonight. Besides, you always keep me company, so let's just say I'm doing the same. Oh, I'm blushing. <laughs> Don't blush too much, I'll pack my things and leave. I'm not blushing. That's it. <laughs> but, babe, let me ask you, right? Why did you choose to be here? I mean, your family is well off, and you have the choice to be in London, but you choose to be here. Why? Well, that's simply because I'm happy here. Besides, I've been away most of my life, and... I just want something different. I want to be here for a few years before going back. I'm happy here, so that's all that matters. Now, oh, wow. Look at me. I've always dreamt of traveling out of this country as a child. But here you are. You have the opportunity. You left, you came back, and you said you like it here. Ha! It's like no balance, so... You really no balance. Mm -hmm. But listen to me. Very soon, those opportunities that you're seeking, they will come to you. Oh, amen. And everything is not always as they seem. The fact that I have those opportunities does not mean that that's all I want in life. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Don't worry. You're going to be fine. Amen to that. <laughs> That's because I have a husband with six feet for a few. Are you going to work together? No. Yes. <laughs> <Hey! laughs> How are you, darling? I'm fine, thank you. I have missed you. <laughs> you look so good. Thank you. Come, what's the secret of this beauty? Tell me. Well, I guess it's God and your me. <laughs> Young lady, do you know that I'm here? Of course! How can I forget my age? Let's all be. You've lost so much weight. Why? I know. I haven't lost weight. And you have not aged a bit, Auntie. You still look beautiful. Exactly Thank what you. I told her before you bought it. Really? Less beautiful. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> well, enough of the princess. I have a meeting to do. Oh, oh that's a good thing is real. Well. Darling, don't keep me waiting. 
my problems. But please make sure you don't stay away from us from this place. Yes, <laughs> ma. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Please enjoy your stay. Oh, yes, ma. Bye. 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 I'm going to miss you. <laughs> Love bird. Okay. How's it going, my darling? Happy to see you. You know, whenever, whenever I see you, Paige, I, you know, remember my late sister. Good. No alcohol in my house. No alcohol. <laughs> well, business is going well. Everything is fine. I can just wait for you to return. <laughs> I will delegate some duties to you and have some rest. Uh, you will have to take the company to the next level. So, how is London? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Enjoy life, my son. Yes. Well, you know what? I will... I'll talk to you. If, what is the problem? I'll talk to you later, son. All right. So the managing director was just on the phone with me. He forwarded an email and wants us to act upon it immediately, sir. Which company is that? The Threshold Project Company. Okay. Mr. Maltox, yeah. All right. Yes. So act on it immediately, okay? All right, sir. And print it out. Let me mean it on it. All right, sir. Good. Thank you. One more thing, Linda. Okay. I don't like seeing you in this skimpy dresses. Oh, okay? Yes. This is a corporate organization. Yes, I'm so sorry, sir. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, sir. your take on the proposal Bridget brought to him? Well, I think it's a welcome development as far as it will enhance the growth of the business. Yes, and with our partners coming in from China, I think it's a nice one. Absolutely. Give it a shot. It's important. I spoke to a lawyer about the son's return. Well, I hope he's coming home with a girl. At least what is wrong? He's just a boy. He's a full grown man. I don't agree with you. He's a boy. And please, don't pressure him. Well, if that's your opinion, it's fine. Sir, please, like I said earlier, please give me a little time. A little time is all I'm asking. I will sort this out. Please. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, can you imagine? On top of my own credit. Some people be acting like God, Sha. Who are you fighting with this early morning? Is this not my landlord? Huh? Just a month after the expiration of my rent, he's already calling, cursing, and threatening to throw me out. That's serious. So what did you guys conclude? Nothing. He just angrily hung up on me. Wow. How am I supposed to raise 750,000 naira in just two days? Just two days. When all I have in my account is 70,000. My goodness, I'm, I'm so sorry. Just, just be calm, okay? I'm sure he's just throwing threats, okay? My landlord, you don't know that man. I have seen him do it to other tenants, so this is no threat. Really? Is he that mean? So mean. So what are you going to do now? I don't know. I don't know. I'm so confused. You know, I might be able to help. But 
I'm not making any promises, but we can try. I might have someone who can help. You too. No promises. We can try. Darling, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. You came to see me. Happy to have you. <laughs> I've missed you. Good evening, sir. Good evening, beautiful one. How are you? I'm good, sir. Excuse me, sir. Linda, what is it? Yes, you. Please, meeting. Linda, please cancel every appointment for today, okay? S and tell Dixon to get the car ready. I'm leaving in 10 minutes. Sir, this is... Linda! Yes, sir. I said cancel every appointment. All right, sir. No problem. Oh. All right. Please, I'm, I'm sorry for that. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm very well. I'm fine. You know what? We're leaving here. Okay? okay. Yes. End of work. Okay. We're leaving, guys. <laughs> okay. I hope you're enjoying it. Yes, Uncle. <laughs> Young lady, you're not eating. <laughs> sorry. What's your name again? Nancy. Hmm. Nancy. Yes, sir. Not good. Nice name for a nice lady. Thank you, sir. Good. I have heard so much about you. Are you serious? Yes, sir. What on what did you hear about me? <laughs> I hope you had the good part. <laughs> hmm? Yes, sir. Are you a graduate? Yes, I am. Wow. What did you study in school? Business management. Which means you're a good manager. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, that's good. Mm. Uncle? I actually, I mean, we actually want to ask for a favor. We're hoping you would be able to bail us out. Okay. Anything for my... Sister's daughter. Nancy? No, mm, you should be the one to tell me. Ladies, please tell me. What's the problem? Okay, sir. Um, <clears throat> my rent has been due for about a month now, and my landlord is already threatening to throw me out. I have done everything. I have begged. I have pleaded, but he's not willing to budge, and I don't have that money now. So... I don't know if there's any way you can assist me. When I have the money, I'll, I'll pay back. I'll pay back, sir. Please, sir. Please, uncle, please. Well, uh, it's nothing, you know. Come on, Paige, don't blame me. Hmm? You know, it's in my nature to help, okay? She's a very beautiful girl. <laughs> no problem. Send me your account details. What? That's my card. Send it to that number. Thank you, sir. Anything for my sister. Thank you so much, Uncle. Oh, God. Welcome. I'll just, I'll just send it. <laughs> Can you now enjoy your name? Yes, sir. And, sir, I just sent it. I sent it. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. You will hear from me. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you, sir. Please, Thank, please, you. Do Thank you, sir. Thank you. God will bless you. I'm going to wait for you. Oh, no, me too. Young lady, please, please stand. Okay? It's okay. It's nothing. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. And life is a place without borders, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Seriously, babe, I didn't know people with such good hearts still exist. Are you for real? <laughs> yes. Just like that, 800K just came out. My sister, I am telling you. I was so shocked when I saw the alert. Oh my God. And I promised to pay back. Pay back, you say? Mm-hmm. A man that sent you such huge amount of money without delay is who you want to pay back. I mean, sending me that money was not on free will. Besides, I promised to pay back, so... 
Yeah, you're just lucky Paige did that magic. Mm -hmm. Because she's such a potent man. It's not easy. Paige, I beg thank her for me when you see her. She's you want her to thank him? Oh. You, my darling. Wonder girl. <laughs> oh. Well, it's nothing. It's nothing compared to the drama you put up there. Drama? Nasi, you didn't give me that gist though. It was nothing to talk about. <laughs> Please, give me the gist. It's very hard. Okay. You need to see the way your girl here. Was nearly oh. begging just because of small money. She literally embarrassed the man. Can you imagine? <laughs> See, Nami know where the shoe they pay me. Nami they wear this shoe. I needed to do that to show the urgency of the situation. Yeah. The urgency of the situation. Yes. Let me break it down. Well, break it down and be at work. See cameras everywhere. Continue. No, I am very experienced. I told you women are very dramatic, okay? But that, that aside, focus on your career the moment you return, okay? Yes. She didn't buy the idea, I told her. Linda, what is it? So your shadow force, uh, Hold on, son. Please, hang on. Okay? Okay, so you have a two hours of meeting with the Shibak operation, and then you have an email preview by 2 p.m., and then a one hour Zoom meeting with the Threshold, and then a meeting with Mr. Maltox at the Blue Sea restaurant by 5 p.m. Okay. Yes. You can go. All right, thank you. Also, yes, I forwarded the email like you asked me to. I saw it, Linda. Linda, one important question. Don't you have good clothes? Why do you wear things like this? Sorry, sir. I've worn you on several occasions. Linda, please, go back to your desk. I'm, I'm sorry, son, okay? Yeah, yes. Linda, my secretary, if not that she's one of the best, I would have fired her a long time ago. Speaking. Oh, I'm so sorry about that, ma. Yes, ma. Let me transfer you to the kitchen. Nancy. Nancy. Yes, I'm here. Are you okay? And this phone has been ringing and no one is speaking. You're busy with your phone, forgetting that the manager is in his office watching. I'm just, it's this message. I'm trying to send a message of thanks, appreciation to Pete's uncle. But it's, it's not sinking. It's not, I don't know. I will type, I'll delete. I don't know what to type. Call this man now. Call? No. I don't know what to say either. Texting is better. I beg. Okay, let me see what you've written so far. Yes. Hope you slept well. No, well, no, what is this? If you don't sleep well, now you help and won't go sleep well. Now, see, so you're sending a formal message to a man of high status. Come on now, use your head. That's the problem. The head is not even functioning at this point. I don't know if you can help me. Maybe we can put heads together. I'm, I'm tired. I don't know what to type. Okay. Yeah, I, I wanted to say... He's calling, he's calling me. Who is calling? Your uncle. Oh my god, I thought you called him already. No, I didn't. I, I sent a message. Oh, he hates that. Oh shit. She's so what, what do I do now? What do I do? What do I say? Pick up and speak calmly. Hello, sir. Oh my god. Sir, I I'm so 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 sorry. I 
No, 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 sir, please don't sound like that. I appreciate everything you did for me. I truly, I, I was just, I was just nervous and that's why I didn't call you. I'm sorry. My legs? I, I don't understand, sir. He needs seeing him in person. Oh, um, you mean coming to see you in person to say thank you? But... What did he say? He wants me to come say thank you in person, same time, same place. You should go with me, right? Right? Why do I have a feeling my uncle is beginning to like you? Anyways, I'm not going with you. It's your date, so enjoy. Date? <laughs> You know, I want you to relax, okay? There's no need for jetting. Huh? I don't buy it. Come on. Yes, sir. So tell me, where are you from? I am from Finima in Bonnie Island, sir. Oh, interesting. I have a staff from there, my chief accountant. A very good man, I must say. Okay. Hmm. So, did you come with my money? Sorry. Um, come on, not to worry. I was only joking. <laughs> so, tell me, why are we here? Oh, um, I... I came to say thank you for saving me from my landlord's embarrassment and I will pay back when I can. Yes, sir. Okay, it's, it's nothing. Okay, it's not a, a big deal. As a, a philanthropist, that's something I do on a regular. Huh? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, but can we just uh, Put aside this unnecessary formality. Uh, this sa 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 thing. It's it's making me uncomfortable. <laughs> you know, I can make do with chief or matters. Uh, no, sir. I cannot call you by your name. I'm sorry. Well, I can see you uh, well brought up. Huh? Okay, call me chief. Are you okay with that? Yes, sir. Yes, chief. <laughs> Nancy, Nancy. Very pretty. So, I'm not trying to delve into your private life, but I would like to know you more. Huh? Good. Do you have a man in your life? Oh, we, we fell apart last year. Oh, so sorry. Yeah, it's okay. So sorry. Mm -hmm. Well, I think... A girl as beautiful as you are, she would have a man in her life, a man who she'll be able to take care of her bills, at least. Huh? And Chief Martins is there to fill in the gap. Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> Nancy, Nancy. Oh, come, come, to, come to daddy, come on. Don't be scared. Huh? I don't buy it. <laughs> Nancy? Nancy? Nancy! Welcome, sir. Welcome. What's welcome, ma? Welcome who? Nancy, what is the problem? You've been like this since I came. It's your uncle. My uncle? What about him? He wants to be the man in my life. Wait. <laughs> you mean... Uncle Martins asked you out? And what did you say? Nothing. Nothing. Wait. 
So a man like Uncle Martins asked you out and you said nothing. Yes. I was confused. I, I don't know. I was well, you might have well have said yes. I don't know. Yes. Really? I'm not going to make that decision for you, okay? But whatever you decide to do, please be careful. Especially because of my aunt. So just be careful, okay? Good luck. Uncle Martin's asked you out, okay? That's something. Anyways, so what do we have here? Honey, is everything okay? You've been moody since you got back. Darling, I'm fine. Everything is fine. It's just work-related stress. Then why don't you take a break? Don't overwork yourself. Well... I'm not overworking myself, I'm just doing my job, okay? I thank God for Linda, she's doing a yeoman's job. And I will be fine at the end of the day. Are you sure? Very sure. Oh, you want me to massage you? Daddy, I will greatly appreciate it. Mm. <laughs> Daddy. You have to come back home now. Yes. Your dad is overstressing himself with work. You know, once you're around, the workload will reduce. That's good. So he, he spoke to you about it already. Perfect. I'm happy to hear that. Well, that's good. I'm so happy to hear that. So mommy has to go out now. Bye bye. Hey. Yeah. I'm good. Paige taking today's off is really exhausting. I have to work extra hours. It's not even sleepy. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Don't see. I have to up with Tammy upon today. Oh. <clears throat> so, the thing is, I joined one dating app last night. Yes, and since then, I've been getting all these crazy messages. So funny. <laughs> so, so funny. Dating app. Yep. So, real men don't finish for this life. No, no. Men don't finish. So they said that you resorted to online dating. <laughs> ha. Anyway, just be careful so you don't fall into the wrong hands. I sure will. Stop staring at me and tell me what's going on in your mind. Oh, well... Thank you. Do you really like her? Are you... are you scared? Something like that, you know? There's auntie and... I just feel weird that all of this is happening because I brought her to you. Paige, I understand exactly where you're coming from. You know, 
you think it's irresponsible for your uncle, who is supposed to be a father figure, to lost a third friend? You don't, you don't have to put it that way. I'm just... Look, I know you're not that kind of person, so I just feel like maybe you have your reasons. Reason? Honestly, I don't have a reason. You don't? I don't. I don't. I love my wife so much. But the moment I set eyes on Nancy, Nancy reminded me of my youthful escapades and I just wanted to have a feel of that past experience. Okay. Well, at least I know that she's a good person and I'm certain she's in safe hands. <laughs> Uncle, I know that look. I definitely know that look. I know the next thing you want to say now is that, oh, you remind me of my late sister. I am so sure that's what you want to say. Paige, why is it that you're so good at reading my mind? Because you always say that. You're just as intelligent as your mother. Oh. You God. know what, Paige? Whenever I set eyes on you, I see my late sister's face and bust on yours. It reminds me of a lot of things. But who am I to question God? I give God the glory that uh, she gave birth to you before she died. Uncle, please, can we not spoil this atmosphere with talks of my late mom? Please. Okay. I don't even have so much memories of her. No problem. Change of topic. Hmm? Yes. <laughs> so... Tell me, what did she say about me? And here I was thinking you weren't going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> well, nothing much. She is pretty much still surprised that Chief Martin's gum cookie actually asked her out. So, but I'm sure she'll be fine. She will be fine. Yeah. Thank you very much, Paige. You're welcome. <laughs> this place is very lovely, by the way. Yes, it is. You like it? I'm happy you like it. 
That's what you get for being a loyal girlfriend. <laughs> oh, yeah. mm. I love you. I love you. You know, I got tired of dropping you off on that road. And so, three years rent paid in full. Thank you. What would you have done without me? Mm. Thank you. I love you so much. We need to drink to this. Yes, yes, and I'll get it. Oh, okay. come, come, oh. come, 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 come. Well, this place is really nice. Thank God I don't have to hit my leg on stone anytime I come visit him. It's how you and Chief are always complaining about the roads on my street for me. But guess what, baby? I'm out of there now, so it's nothing to worry about. <laughs> Wait a minute, is that love I hear in your voice? <laughs> well, I hope you're not planning on taking my uncle away from his wife. Well, I have my limits. Even though I must confess that, you know, sometimes I get to see you. I'm for it. Yes. Well, to love, friendship, and definitely to the new partner. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Anyways, I'm very hungry. I need you to get me something to ask. Well, a word of advice. Okay. I really feel like your calls during work hours is going to put you in trouble. And besides, Maven is already feeling left out. I know it's all lovey-dovey, but you need to tell him to stop calling during work hours, okay? He is a CEO. He owns so many companies. You, you're working under someone. So you need to just learn how to balance it up or something. Okay. Yeah. I'm very sure he's not ready to, you know, bring you into any of his companies for reasons best known to him. I totally understand. Like, I didn't know it was that obvious. Well, now you know. Yes, now I know. Thanks for having my back and looking out for me. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Please. I need something to eat. I'm hungry. I got you. Are you sure? I got you. I'll I'm go fix it. I will fix you. Can I have like a menu? I deserve one. Where are you there, Sherrison? <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. How time flies. Darling. I can't believe how time flies. Tomorrow is the big day. Yes. It seems just like yesterday. Yes, I know. And you know what? You're still that beautiful, succulent baby that I married. Mm. Always glittering. Mm. And you're still the perfect gentleman that I know. Mm. You can say that again. Mm. So tell me, are you throwing a party? What kind of a question is that? 25 years. It's no joke. I know. 25 years of a peaceful and blissful marriage is worth celebrating. Exactly. And I will go to the ends of the world to make it memory. You are full of surprises. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I love you so much. I can love you less, you know. So you put them separately. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Make sure you pay for the video. Keep on grinding, okay? Tolerating each other. When you get there, you will understand. I hope so. <laughs> anyway. Darling, how's it going? Perfect. Everything is going smoothly. Okay. Yes, well organized. Uncle? Well, I mean. Yes. 
Auntie, I have a surprise for you guys. Did you buy me a gift? Well, you can call it that. Just give me a minute. Cajun surprises. My sister. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Oxford! I've got it, boss. That's your problem. <laughs> So you didn't know that yesterday was my uncle's anniversary? Oh, Dad. Why are you acting as if you don't know? Or are you jealous? No, of course not. <laughs> Listen, 25 years not be being so, and I can't compete with that. Okay, I'm not jealous. So tell, me, tell me you didn't sleep last night. What were you doing? That was picture of Oh, absolutely not. Um, Oxford actually came in that same yesterday. And we did some catching up. Who is Oxford? What is your business with that, Saproko? Is <laughs> why are both of you taking this thing serious? Anyways, Oxford is my cousin and he arrived yesterday. He's been away for so long. Hmm, your cousin, what he sounded like it was some kind of romantic stuff. Right? Of course not. Please tell me more about him. Huh? Let me shoot my shot with you. Uh -uh. No, Anyways, my uncle is a very handsome man and so is his son. Wait, why is this on blushing? <laughs> Please tell me more about him. Let me shoot my shot too. Shoot with shots. Last I checked, you had a boyfriend. Let's forget that one. This one is a brobiton. Hey. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Who did that? Really? <laughs> Good morning, how are you? How was your night? Good. How about you? I'm fine. Um, where is dad? He's in his room? Your dad is not in his room. He's off for a board meeting. Well, quite early. Uh, mm, this is 10 a.m. already. Come to think of it, Mom. Dad is really stressing himself, being the CEO of this company. That's what I keep saying every day. I keep complaining about this, but he doesn't listen to me. You will tell me nobody does it better than the owner of the company. What would I say? Well, that makes sense. Yes. Why? Oh, there is Paige. Paige has gone home. She should be at work by now. She works? Yes. Lazy Paige, working. <laughs> wow. This is interesting. <laughs> I'm so happy for her. She works. Okay. Um, come on, please. Honey. You have more than enough on the dining table. So take care of yourself. <laughs> Come on, son. Don't say that. I understand exactly what you're trying to say. Come on, it's more like a mantra, you know. I've always said that nobody can do the job better than you or me. It's a fact. <laughs> I am fine, Oxford, I am fine. Forget about your mother. Hmm? I'm used to that. I'll talk to you later, son. All right. Yes, son? Yes, the young man is worried about his father's health. We should be. Look at you. You work so hard. I know. I work so hard. Uh, but that is why I have you. Okay, body and soul together. Wow. 
to a long lasting relationship. Yep. <laughs> so I am ahead of his return. Who? Spot. So how come you know his name? Oh, Paige. <laughs> yeah. Paige is a gossip. She's my friend. I know. I know. She's your friend. But all you guys do is gossip. Really? Uh huh. I, I hope I have a, a clean record in your register. Babe, you would always have a good record. <laughs> I love you. Honestly, Mom, this food is delicious. I really miss your African meal. <laughs> Thanks for what? Thank you, my love. But you can't tell me there are no Nigerian restaurants that cook fresh meals over there. Well, no doubt. Yes, we have Nigerian restaurants over there. But trust me, everything is current and obviously preserved. You can tell they are not as tasty and, and fresh as this. Well, you can say you love my meal, you miss my meal, but don't go ahead criticizing other people's hard work. Hello. There's nothing negative about what he said. You can call that criticism. Hmm? The young man just shared his experience. Thank you, Dad. That is the word. I have really missed your dishes. Trust me. You see, ever since I've been there, I've not eaten something as fresh as this. Yes. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> you know Oxford likes food a lot. I understand where you're coming from. That's what I've been enjoying. You've really missed. And you see, looking fresh and robust, no stress. Thanks to my lady. <laughs> Well, I don't give you half to drink, so it's not an excuse for you not to want to retire. Darling, you keep on talking about this retirement. Can you just stop? Well, talking about uh, delegating duties, Oxford, no? You will be accompanying me to the office tomorrow. Dad, so fast. I just got back. I want you to meet some people. But that we discussed about... <laughs> Oh, sorry, my darling. Oh, to have you around, son. Huh? Wow. Now, you know, it feels good to be here again. Good morning, Linda. I didn't meet you when I walked in. Oh, yes, I was going to have a Okay. So, what's my schedule for today? Have you sent it to my mail? Not yet, but you know, have a Zoom meeting with the directors at Dome Limited for 9 a.m. And then the, the engineers at the Treasure Project of Green Life at 12 p.m. Also, you have a lunch meeting for 2 p.m. And then the, so the information for the family is sent to you shortly. We schedule all online appointments for today. Okay? And uh, we'll be holding an emergency board meeting. And get the restaurant venue ready. Good. Uh, that's by the way. My son, Oxford. He will be working with us from now on. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you, too. So, Linda, go back to work. That's my smart and energetic second. She's very good at what she does. I'm talking to you, Oxford. Sorry, Dad. 
You said her name is what again? Linda. She must have impressed you. Know? Mm -hmm. How could he have done that to a poor lover boy? Poor lover boy, you say? Listen, let me tell you something, right? When I find the right one, I would know. And I would bring him to you for your blessings. Like, you must approve. I don't know. Don't talk to me about some cockroach boys. And... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I know how you don't like to hear about this. But there's nothing I want more than being your wife. I really want that. But you, on the other hand, you don't want that. So what do you... Come on, who told you I don't want that? It is my greatest desire to have you as my second wife. But... I made myself a promise. Any boy who intends to come into your life must not be an ordinary boy. Okay? Do I sense jealousy? Not at all, baby. I want the best for you. I am a man with feelings. Genuine feelings. I love you so much. Your coming into my life has transformed a lot. Okay? You revived that, that youthful urge, you know. And you, made, you made me lively again. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you so much. Thank you. I love you so much. Eat. Yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> Manager guy is so annoying. God. Yeah. See, like, let me tell you. If not for good tips and lack of jobs, who is that guy to talk to me anyhow? Uh, uh. Madam the madam. <laughs> what? Cash madam. Wait, in. See the way you're saying it as if you're his superior. <laughs> I beg, I beg, I beg. But really, you. You can literally get any job you. What the hell are you doing taking these souls from that man? Why does everyone keep complaining about my choice of job? This is what I want to do at least for a year or two before I leave the country. Oh, shit. Come and take me with you now. Show me way now. <laughs> can you just come off it? You can go anywhere you want to go with my uncle. But, but obviously you're the one limiting yourself. But I can't leave work unless I'm ready to quit. And I don't want to quit because I don't want to depend on Jay. Well, you kind of have a point. But what if you meet someone, you know, someone really serious who wants to settle down? Mm -hmm. How about that? Mm -mm. I don't want to hear it. Okay, I don't want to hear of it because it annoys Chip and I love him, so. Love? Did you say love? And here I was thinking it was all about money and support. I mean, I thought so too, but she would agree with me that Chiu is such a gentleman. So amazing. Okay. If you say so. Anyways. Is this how you intend to treat your guests? Spending the first night in your house? I don't understand. Is this not your house too? What do you mean by sitting on my house too? I need like a massage. I need a table set before me. Lots of food. Lots of drinks. When you're done hallucinating, you come and say, let's Is this how we roll now? Me hallucinating? Thank you. 
7.30pm. And I'm just scrolling. Are you aware that the country is dangerous at the moment? I know what is. You went out to see some old friends. I'm not against you seeing your old friend, okay? I'm only asking you to be careful. It's very dangerous out there. It must not happen again. I hope you had something to eat because yes. it's late already. Yes, I did. Um, where is mom? The mom is fast asleep. And uh, by the way, how is your training at the office going? Very well, with the help of the pretty Linda. No stress, she's really good. Pretty Linda, Oxford. Stay away from that girl, okay? Concentrate on your training. Of course I am concentrating on my training, Daddy. <laughs> All right. Hello? How do you mean? You can leave this country anytime you choose, at the point whenever you like. Sometimes I feel God cheated on some of us. Oh, let me build. Don't talk like that. I never reach like that. Paige here is just very lucky. That's it. Well, maybe it will surprise you to know that. I've also had my fair share of life's difficulties, aside as well. I'm going to wait for some family. Love. Happiness. Freedom. Having your parents watch you grow. You see, I grew up without my parents due to entire death. Do you know how many times I was late to the school and didn't have a mother to guide me? Do you know how many nights I cried myself to sleep, wishing that they were alive? But. Thanks to my own gifts, being able to feel the gap of me, life was easier to walk. You know, the thought of being the only survivor of that accident still reeks in my head till now. Hey, it's fine. Right. It's it's okay. Hey, do you need to make sure you need this too? I'm so, so, so sorry. It's fine. Okay, let's change the topic. It's Thank okay. you. Let's talk about something else. Oh my god. What? This Africa just changes reservation. So it's 8th of March. <laughs> Customer. I mean, he made a reservation some months back. He was supposed to check in like two months ago into a suite. I don't know. Oh, maybe he changed his mind. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, um, so okay. <laughs> Uncle, you can stop checking your time now. I'm so sorry. Good afternoon. Paige. Yes? Why is it that when it comes to punctuality, it's a zero for you? I don't think it's always zero. Okay. I am sorry, my loving uncle, for coming late. But it's not my fault. I had to plead with someone to cover my shift at work. That reminds me. It's high time you left that job. What? Like, why would I leave my job? 
I'm sending you to Canada next week. No, I, I don't want to go to Canada. Excuse me? My order, please. I'm happy with my job. I don't want to go. Listen to me, young lady. I did not send you abroad to study to come back and work at a hotel as a receptionist. And I don't want to send Linda because I will be needing her in the office here. I want you to go. We can actually get someone, hire someone for that. Must it be me? How do you expect me to hire someone else? But I have you. I need somebody with a good business acumen. Okay? But, oh my, I still don't want to go. Stop behaving like a big teddy. Huh. You will go. It's going to be fun, like I said. Okay? Now, drink. And shake it. <laughs> so tell me, how is Nancy? I don't know. Will you just talk to me? How is she? Canada? Why so soon? Um, Man, so you're definitely going to quit? A month? You're going to be in Canada for a month? Oh, but you're not quitting soon, are you? I miss you already. I miss you. Okay, see you tomorrow, okay? The fact that you're quitting is a big deal. Just handed in your resignation letter to the manager. He's like, goodbye. Well, that is not the end of our fridge. We're still going to hang out in peace as usual. Nancy. Hmm? What is it? You're so cold. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize it was that obvious. Really? I'm sorry. And I'm going to miss you so much. No, will miss you too. And I promise to bring all the gist and gifts when I return. <laughs> Sounds better. Is that cool? Yeah, that's cool. Thank you. <laughs> Good. So, um, are you leaving immediately? Um, no, I'm going to stay with you guys for a while. How about that? That's nice. Uh, only God knows who we are going to replace you with. Anyways, I'm sure whoever it is will be a good friend to you guys. Okay. Well, I just hope so. Of course, he has to go. It's good for his growth and development. You know, my point is, at this stage of his training, I think it would be too risky for the company. Darling, you don't need to worry, okay? Paige will ensure that he does what he is supposed to do. It's all right, if I say so. And I was just worried. You don't need to be worried, okay? Trust Oxford. He's my son. He will seal the deal. Huh? You know, I hardly make mistakes in my decisions. Daddy, you're Mr. Perfect. Come <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> here. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Good evening, sir. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Um, so, I made a reservation for Alfred. Oh, it's 28 already. 
You're welcome, sir. I guess my room is ready. Of course it is. Please hold on. Shopping. Okay, here you go. Um, third floor, room 304, oh. by your left. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. So the rest of my luggage is... Oh, outside. don't stress yourself about it. The staff will get it to remove it. Please hold on. You are needed at the front desk. Okay. Hurry up. They'll get it to you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Usually at the reception, I'll meet you later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My brother! My brother! Yeah, yeah. How far now? Oh, well, my guy, I did, man. I, but I thought you were supposed to come in yesterday. What happened? There's a long story. For some reason, I just couldn't book online. I also say they get things here. Mo just wanna mostly say please do. Guy! Ah, uh, bro. Hello, sirs. Hello. Um. How, you, how may I help you? You need a room. Okay, so what kind of room do you need so I can check for the ability? Um, something like a suit. Oh, just hold on. What about you, sir? Sir? Uh, you know, um, I lodged in yesterday. Oh, Wait, okay. Were you the one I saw yesterday? Um, no, that will be my colleague. Just hold on. Uh... That's my guest. Find out what you Oh, where? Oh, um, sir, the room is not available now, but we can check you into another room so, so that maybe by tomorrow we can figure out yeah. how. My guy's gonna stay with me for the night. Oh. Like tomorrow, when you get yeah, you. Can we have simply move? Dress us carefully. No, don't, don't, don't worry, someone will get it to your room. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, my guy, I don't miss that junction. I mean, it's like a small book for in China, so I Hello, reception. Hello, good afternoon. Oh, I'm so sorry about that, sir. Yes, sir. Ready by one. Okay, so let me call the kitchen. Hello. Hello, sir. Do you need anything? Uh, yes. So I was wondering, is there a place where I could get a uh, car for dinner? Oh yes, um, Madam Chide, the other side of the street. But you have to. Is she alright? Uh, yes. Um, she's having stomach upset. She'll be fine. It's just a minor thing. She won't just mind her. She's just sleeping. Um, hello, young lady. Hey. Nancy. Her name is Nancy. Nancy, can you hear me? Can you call me? You know what? Let me get my car. Oh, okay, sir. I think that's serious. So tell me, how are you feeling now? Well, I feel a lot better and it's all thanks to you. Oh. Thank you so much, sir. Come on, it's nothing. You shouldn't be thanking me. Um, however, the doctor says it's food poisoning and stress. So if you ask me, I think it would be best if you took a little bit of a break from work. No, I think with all of this, the drugs, the drink, the injection. I am okay, sir. I'm fine, sir. Maybe. Alfred. Who's Alfred? That is my name, and I would prefer you call me that than the other. Yeah. 
So are you sure you want me to take you back to work? Because honestly, I could take you back home if you want that. <laughs> yes, I am sure. I really don't want my manager to start yelling. Manager? The same manager that is not worried about your stuff with well-being? It's really not that deep, sir. Sorry, Alfred. <laughs> no, it's really not that deep. No problem. I'll... Thank you so much, all the same. Don't mention that. You're welcome. You look okay. Why did you sound sick? Because that was the only way I could get you to come here. I've been asking you to sit and have a drink with me, but you've been adamant about it. Yes, that's because I work here and I'm not allowed to mingle or be in close contact with any of our customers. Yes, I understand perfectly. And that's why I'm saying let's do this one more off day outside the hotel. I'm sorry, sir. Alfred, I can't. Please, Why is that? Because... Is it because you can't stand this hot and beautiful and Stop it! Watch it! And now stop until I get what I want. Hey, you've been too quiet since you came out from that room. What's up? It's nothing. I'm okay. What did Prince Charming do to you? And who is Prince Charming? That one that's not even fine. Hmm. He likes you. I can see it in his eyes. Is everything okay? Darling, everything is fine. It's just that work has been so hectic for me. Besides, uh, I'm also monitoring my son, who my son done a deal. Oh, but Pete said he's doing okay with Yes, she's doing okay with her. That's why I sent her with him. At the end of the day, everything will be fine. There is nothing to worry about. Okay, so <clears throat> do you need a massage? We can go home. Yeah, and I'll do that. I also made pepper soup, you know, just to make you feel okay. Come on, baby. Is that a way of wanting to take me home? <laughs> Is that a deal? Of course. That's a deal. Okay. <laughs> so take me home, baby. Huh? I love you so much. How are you over there, my darling? We are fine. We are all fine. You know, I can't wait to see you. Yes, your dad told me about that. That's nice. Beautiful. Good, fantastic. Nice one. I know you will make me proud. Sapping. It's all right. I love you too. Take care, my darling. Bye bye. Alfred Way. Papa. Come on, boy. I did. Now I'm on my guy. We have been on my parents' side all day, fam. Like all day. I mean, you're good, man. You're good, you're good. Folks, you're good. Just same old, same old. Don't stay in the hotel. Why waste money? Come and stay in the house. Well, you know my folks, man. Oh, yeah. It's normal, man. Why do you think I've been here? I don't see any family member of mine. And, you know, that's that in the spoil me. That can't boil me away. I won't boss. Come like that. Fight, bro. Oh, that's bored. Guys, we come here chill like youths now. You know why me? Bro. Hey guy, I didn't see your girl at the front desk. Uh, I think she's gone home and since then I think I need to talk to guys. What have you done now, guy? Like, what have you done? What did you do? Sorry, I 
Hast du verkisst? <lacht> oh, this boy. Okay, wait, 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 wait. wait. Start from the beginning. Wait, like, how did you get into this predicament, fam? I don't think you want to know. I do. But all you need to know is... I want to do it again. Like, you see, man. This is meant to hack you off. You're able to get it. I feel you, I feel you. But man, you're not a bad boy, Sha. You're not a bad guy, you're not a bad guy. But I feel you, but like, it's actually that serious. Don't you think you should just approach her respectfully? Respectfully? You know, she seems nice, she seems reserved. I feel she'll come around. Guy, don't use that charm with him. Like, you just do that. Bro, you don't want me. Thanks for coming. So let me just start to the chase. I'd like to get to know you more. As I've already made my intentions towards you clear that um, I like you. So I would appreciate if you give me the opportunity to get to know you more. Well, there's nothing much to me. My name is Nancy. I am from River State, a graduate of business management from Unilag. <laughs> the first and only daughter of my parents. That's basically me. Oh. Sorry, your parents are late. Yeah. I'm so sorry to hear that. No, it's okay. I might probably not be able to, you know, replace whatever vacancy they left in your heart. But trust me, I'm here to make you feel special. Hmm. Isn't it too early to make promises? Oh, no. So, for starters, um, I would want you to quit your job at the hotel. I'm not trying to downplay whatever I say should do there. I just believe and know that I'm in a better position to offer you more. That's just it. Okay, enough about me. Let's talk about you. Oh, no, there isn't much to know about me. As you already know, I'm Alfred. Um, so I left for London when I was young. And I literally, basically, that's where I've schooled and worked all my life. And this is my first time coming back to Nigeria ever since I left. Hmm. Yeah. And you're in the hotel. Don't you have parents or siblings you can put up with? Obviously, I do. Um, it's not like I've not seen my parents ever since or my family ever since I left. I do see them every now and then. They do come around. Yeah, they do come to London every now and then. However, I just felt, you know, I needed time for myself, you know, get to catch up with friends that I've made over the years. That's right. Fair enough. Yeah. So how are you finding the country since you've oh, been here? Very interesting, especially with you sitting right in front of me <laughs> my bad um sorry um waiter so sorry i expect waiter please yeah i don't know i'll just i'll try as much as possible to keep it away from chief for now this guy seems so serious Uh, I would talk to him in due time when things get more serious than this. Yeah, how are you doing though? Headache. Please take it easy, okay? I'll talk to you later. I need to sleep. It's past midnight here. Yeah, bye. So, Ma, thank you very much for your patronage. Thanks, I enjoyed my sleep. Yeah, please do come back. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right, bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. These people, the two weeks we gave them have elapsed and they've still not paid. I don't. Hi. Like, I'm just going to get another Friday last week. What's wrong? Well, it's not like a job at our management. Um, there's nothing wrong with our management. We are okay. It's just lots of work to do. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Anyways, that's the office. Oh. <laughs> Some who? Yeah. Let's have a good day. 
Just don't like to be distracted. Don't know. I can't see it. Oh, there's a note. It's a. Oh. What does it say? A little token from me to you, Afro. Oh. I'm pressed. <laughs> I like to go. <laughs> Oh my god, it's gold! Like I've never, like I've never, like ever, ever, ever. You just never really fast. You know, but you took one. No. Wow, you see it. No. Never. Hi. I got your gift yesterday. She like it? I love it. Nice. But why do you keep making me run out here to come see you all the time? She can't blame me. She was taking over my thoughts and I always want to see you. Yeah, but you know I'm still at work, right? And I need to get back to my goals. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Hi. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what you're trying to say. But listen, there's no need to worry, okay? Everything from our own end is fixed. Yes, your mom and I await your return. Okay. My darling, as soon as you get back home, your favorite meal is ready. You know what can I can I, bring. Can I have my phone, please? Allow me to talk to my son. Uh, hello, Alfred. Yes, as I was saying, everything is set. Okay, we're counting down to your arrival. It's just a matter of days. Yes. Stay out of trouble, Alfred. Hmm? Yeah. I said stay out of trouble. Hmm? Be a good boy at all times. Okay. Bye. He sounds so happy. What? And I know you will make us proud. Definitely. You know, thank you so much for everything that you do. Thank you, my darling. It is my responsibility to make sure that my family is happy at all times. Mm -hmm. And by the time I'm able to shed of some responsibility, I will be relaxed knowing that my business will be in safe hands. Of course, you will make us proud. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Nancy, Nancy, there's trouble, there's trouble. Alfred, come, come, come with me now. Just come, just come, please, hurry. Hurry up, please. Come on, let's go, let's go. Let's go, come, come, come. It is now my shoes. <laughs> so I know this. This might probably feel too sudden. As it hasn't been long since our paths crossed. But this has been the best moments of my life. You have brought so much peace and joy into my life that I want it to continue forever. I know what I want when I see you, and it's you that I want when I see the happiest man on this earth by agreeing to spend the rest of my life with me Nancy Koye Roberts Yes 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 <laughs> 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 
forgot that you would have to one day go back to your family. <laughs> I'm going to miss you at the hotel. You're going to miss me? Mm -hmm. And who says I am leaving you there? You are coming with me. Yes, and you are quitting that ill job of yours. We have a wedding to plan. Don't forget. But, um, babe, uh -huh. I don't know. Don't you think we should, you know, take things slow? I, I, I'm just saying, like, you go home, talk to your people, I go home babe, and I babe, talk to my people. Babe, just... babe, babe. Listen, if you're going to go with me, go see my family. Afterwards, we go see. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Is everything okay? Yeah. Sure. Sure. Like I said, just picture the whole. <laughs> I am so shocked myself. My sister, just one month and I have a ring? Like, I'm still in shock. <laughs> um, no. I'm just, I don't know. Alfred is rushing everything. I haven't told Chief, but I think I'll just find time to go and tell him. I don't know how he's going to feel, but this is going to break him. I know. Alfred is taking me to his people tomorrow. So when we're back, I will find time and I'll go see Chief. Yeah, I can't wait to see you. So at least you would help me beg Chief. <laughs> Thank you, babe. And safe trip, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs> Inside. Ah! Uncle. Uncle is fine. He will soon be with us shortly. Okay. Wait, wait, Paige. Look at my baby. Have you not been feeding him? Actually, cool. I have been feeding him. He has just refused to add him. That's pretty cool. Where is Uncle? Uncle, where are He you? just got back from a meeting. He will soon join us. Don't oh. worry. Sit down. Are you expecting someone? All right, sit. Let me get the dog. Maybe it's. <laughs> Mom, surprise! Welcome home! Welcome home, baby! Mom, bro! Come on, yeah! Mom, haven't you seen your friend and brother? Oh, he didn't tell me what's coming. He didn't tell me. Honey! Honey, guess! Just guess who is here! You told me you're quite a schedule for tomorrow. Yes, I just want to try. 
Oh, I'm sad. Wow. Oh. I really don't like that. I miss you so, so much. Let me see. That doesn't work for me. He will love you. <laughs> he will love you. Don't she... worry. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, so, mom, dad, me, and Jansi. Jansi? My oh, yeah. mom and siblings. I don't know. He didn't say much about his family to me. Paige, why didn't you tell me your uncle has another son called Alfred? Why? It's because I did not know that it was my Alfred and Alfred. Besides, I don't see him often. We only meet once in a while in London. Oh, God. You know what? Once they come in, just tell Alfred that you need to leave. Do that and go. Okay. I need to speak with my uncle. Okay? Uh, don't you think? What? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's rather unfortunate Nancy wouldn't be able to join us as the second in the first Not so fast, young lady. Dinner is set. Everybody must eat. You can't leave this house without eating. Hmm? So. No, but you two know each other before now. You seem to be eating. Mm -hmm. um, um, actually, we. Yes, we do. Um, we, we, we work. We're colleagues. Oh. Yeah. Okay. 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 What do you mean by that? Everything happened so fast. You got engaged to my son? A boy who lives in London? No. Alfred has been in Nigeria for a month now. Paige, are you aware of this? Uh, no, uncle, but she actually told me about an Alfred. I didn't realize it was our Alfred. We had an agreement. You told me you were going to keep me abreast with every development that has to do with your relationship. So what then happened? You know you hate it when I bring up such discussions and I didn't think of how you were going to be with me for the right time. And you ended up giving me a devastating surprise. I am sorry. I'm sorry to break things like this. Nancy, this marriage can never happen. It will never hold. What? <laughs> Uncle. She loves him and and he feels the same way. What do you mean by that, Paige? Do you know how I feel? What will happen to the love we shared? What will happen to my feelings? The money, the commitment, everything. What will happen? Sorry. Sorry. Uncle, I, I didn't know you loved her this much. I love her and she knows. And now you want to disgrace me. You want to drag me in the mud? How do I face my family? Tell me how! It's harder than it already is. Like I said, it will never happen. Not under my watch. I will not allow you to disgrace me. I will not allow you to drag my reputation in the mud. Come in. My Oga. The big man himself. Sorry. He says to me that. Yes. Please. Sit. Ah. How are you? I'm good. Please. Sit. Yo. How are you? I'm good. But you don't really look as of ever since I've been back. Is everything okay? Something bothering you? I'm fine. It's just work-related stress. Don't worry. 
That's why I'm back, you know. I'm just gonna take over so you'd have all the rest you need. You didn't tell me about her. Who? Oh, my fiance. You know, I wanted it to be a surprise and also I wanted to be very sure that's her before I tell you or anything. That's why. Alfred, tell me. How long have you known that girl? And where did you meet her? Surprisingly, it's been a month plus. Plus, I actually met her here in Nigeria. Yeah. For 21 years, you didn't set your foot on Nigerian soil. Coming back on your first visit, you came home with a girl you just met? Um, Dad, is that something I'm supposed to Alfred, know? I will not allow that to happen. It's not going to happen. Come on, Dad, I'm, I'm old enough to know what I want when I see it. And Nancy is, she's everything, she's what I want. You're my first son. You will definitely take over from me when I'm no more. But I will not sit back and watch you marry just any woman. It's not going to happen. Dad, honestly, I love her. I love her so, so, so much. Trust me, she's the best thing that could happen to any man. And I'd really appreciate if, if you have your blessings. Please. to terms with the fact that we must put up with each other, okay, now that we are about to become a family. Again. I 
love you so much. Thanks for making the time we shared together memorable. Wasn't that bad? He was just expressing himself. I'm happy. I'm happy you understood exactly what happened. <laughs> yeah. You know, Paige, I've always known you ever since you were, you were a child. And uh, I don't know you to be loquacious. And for you, you're a reserved girl, somebody I can trust. Now, here's the deal. This is going to be between us. Between three of us. My son or anyone else must not know about this. It's a secret we are going to carry to our various graves. I understand it. Alright, tell me, what are we doing? <laughs> You see, being your father does not mean you will beat me in things like this. Uh, Dad, I'm Dad, very smart. Yes, Come on, don't away. say that. Don't say that. See, I am going to declare the winner because I don't even believe what that is doing here. Can you just stop this? Your father is a smart man. I told you over the phone that I'm very vibrant. Look at them. Don't let your father cheat you. Honey, what's the meaning of that? I'm not a cheat. I've never cheated all my life. Huh? These are small boys. <laughs> I'm, I'm dealing with them. <laughs> okay, go ahead and play. Are you okay? You look nervous. There's trouble. See, and what is it? Trouble. It's trouble. That's, that's how it goes, I feel. Alfred, I think you have to. Who's your only guy? I think you have to call her. Come on, guys. She's not a baby. She's too much to think of the devil. You're always in a hurry. Huh? So, what is it? Is there anything the matter? Alfred, why is your face like this? What is wrong with you? Mom, what is it? I'm sorry. I don't think I can get married to you. You are too good for me. I don't deserve you. 
Please don't come looking for me. I'm on my way out of the state already. What is going on? She went ahead to say, I hope you find someone fitting and loving to spend the rest of your life with. Goodbye. Nancy. Nancy? Alfred, did you have a quarrel with her? Oh, Dad. No, never. But where the hell is Paige? Hi, Madam Alice. Good afternoon. Have you looked into what I told you to? Of course not. I told you not to worry. So, that is Nancy. She is a hotel receptionist at Donna Hotel. She is... Enough. I will send you your balance. All right, thank you very much. Also, I thought I should mention, she is friends with Paige. They work together, you know, at Donna Hotel. I think that's really important and you should know. So, thank you for your time. I knew something was wrong with me. After all these phone calls, Martins, Martins. Such a darling. I don't need to say it, you know. Please don't baby me. Stop calling me a baby. I'm not a baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You just everything happened so fast. What do you mean by that? Everything happened so fast. You got engaged to my son, a boy who lives in London? No. Alfred has been in Nigeria for a month now. Paige, are you aware of this? Um, no, Uncle, but she actually told me about an Alfred. I didn't realize it was an uh, Alfred. We had an agreement. You told me you were going to keep me abreast with every development that has to do with your relationship. So what then happened? You know you hate it when I bring up such discussions and I didn't think about how you were going to be with everybody right side. And you ended up giving me a devastating surprise. Nancy, this marriage can never happen. It will never hold. But, Uncle, she loves him and, and he feels the same way. What do you mean by that, Paige? Do you know how I feel? What will happen to the love we share? What will happen to my feelings? 
the money, the commitment, everything. What will happen? Sorry. Sorry. Uncle, I, I didn't know you loved her this much. I love her. And she knows. And now you want to disgrace me. You want to drag me in the mud. How do I face my family? Tell me how. It's harder than it already is. Like I said, it will never happen. Not under my watch. I will not allow you to disgrace me. I will not allow you to drag my reputation in the mud. Worried. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm just a bit confused about this whole wedding thing. How long have you known this girl? Mom, you and Dad seem to be worried about nothing. I don't need much time to know the girl I want. Your dad? Yes. Dad also didn't want me to get married to her. It took lots of persuasion to be able to convince him to finally accept it. Nancy is a very good girl. And I love her so much. Yes. Maybe you're confused. You told me you've known her for just a month. So maybe... Mom, I am not confused. I am certain. I have dated quite a number of girls. And none of them makes me as happy as Nancy does. Please don't say no as well now. It's alright then. You'll send her abroad afterwards. Why? My wife should be with me. She can go there to take care of the business. I'm sure she will like that. That would be a decision for my wife and I. Please, if there's nothing, I'd want to take care of it. How can I live with this for the rest of my life? Martins. I don't even know what to say. My son looks so happy. You know, crying is not going to solve anything. What we need now is to find a solution to all of this. What solution? Jesus. Tell me what solution. You should be ashamed of yourself. Getting pregnant for my own husband? Auntie, I'm sorry. Oh, you shut up. You idiot. You are family. And this is how to tell me thank you. I'll come back to you. You ingrate! Sleeping with father and son at the same time? So you feel I would not know? I didn't know they were related. You didn't know they were related? I know that you've known. What have you done? You're pregnant, having a demon in your womb. Get out of my house now! Move! Are you deaf? Idiot! You know what? <laughs> come back here. As you live in my house, don't say a single word to my husband. And don't talk to my son either. Do you understand? Yes. And get rid of that demon in your womb. Do you understand? Yes. Leave my house now. Move! Yes. Get her! Move! If I'm for you, Paige, I brought you up from nobody and made you somebody. Is this the thank you you have for me? Is this how to reward me? No, tell me. You are an ingrate. You are a betrayer. I don't want to say much. Just get out. Shut up and don't ever call me, Auntie. Keep your dirty sorry to yourself. You idiot. Get out of my house. I'm sorry. Bastard. Rubbish. I've had enough of this rubbish. Mad people around me. Rubbish. Well, in my own opinion, I feel it's a good thing she has brought out her true color. Now we know who truly she is. Honey, you had your doubts about her, right? Absolutely, darling. 
I had my doubts. Well, let's all sit down. It's become morning over here, so Little, you got this little. My fancy breaks up. Don't throw away. I'm on this end on that little. I'm sorry. I read the message to you, remember? I know how you feel. But it's a good thing we all know our true color. Please just have to move on. It's okay. Just put yourself to me. Your mother is very correct, Alfred. She must have thought it through before arriving at such a decision. That's God. Shall we cut and cry later? I don't think.